through another night without you. Those are the cries of a broken heart. Who died? My beloved cat, Sphinxy. And please, do not be so crass. Sphinxy has simply... passed on. She is in God's hands. Nothing hurts quite like a fresh wound. But in time, it will heal, and life will return to normal. Oh, if only. Instead, I find myself missing her more and more, with each passing winter. How long ago did Sphinxy pass on? Eleven years ago tomorrow. A long time, I know. <laughs> a little. Have you thought about honoring Sphinxy with a shrine? It is no burial, but it may ease your grief. I am halfway there, but I cannot bring myself to sort through her things. I simply do not have the strength. I will help you. We will build Sphinxy a shrine together. Where should I start? My home. It's where she... She... <laughs> There must be something I can find in here for the cat's shrine, if I can sort through all the rubble. found some of Sphinxy's belongings. You have? Oh, Would you bring them to the shrine just over there beneath that shrub? It is done. A shrine dedicated to Sphinxy. Whenever you care to pay your respects. And a home you can return to again. It may take some getting used to without Sphinxy, but her children need you. And here I thought all Danes were ruthless plunderers. Murderers! You have a soul that would grace the heavens. Light my Sphinxy. Lord, light your way. <laughs> <laughs> 